and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 289. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Tara, or Totera. Totera Hello, people. Totera Sorry to interrupt you. I didn't know when my key was coming in. Uh, like you, you have numbers in your name. So anyway, yeah, we got the Terra thirteen twenty four. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Welcome back, my friend. Glad to be back. It's been so long since I've been on this show. I think the last time you were on was February. I think so. Yeah, according to the Discord calculator thingy. Yeah, but yep. anywho, also joining us today is Starstream. Hello, everypony. Hey there, Star. How are you doing? Good. Good. So, anywho, uh, it's been, uh, wow, how, how do I put it? it? It's been a while since I talked to you too. Especially you, Tara. It's been a long, long while. Yes, very long. So, what's up with you, man? Like, what, what have you been doing? Oh, you know, same old working on my job, working on my videos. Went to BronyCon for the first time. Uh, I'm jealous of that. <laughs> Yeah, it was so it was so much fun, you know. You missed all the fun. Oh, uh, well, Bidin, why don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, me, Safi, and Silver took a picture together for you. Oh, uh, why don't you rub it in with more salt then? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I got had fun, man. Salt to the wound. Pour it I the know. Salt to the wound. Maybe. <laughs> but I'm glad you had fun, man. I'm glad you had fun. It was a lot of fun. So just to let people at home know that yeah, this week we are recording things on Skype because Discord is being a poopy pants. Uh, well, yep, yeah, it's being a poopy pants. Um, I have no idea what happened with Discord nowadays. This is why I'm always on Skype. And people always say, you know, Discord is the best thing ever. It's better than Skype, and now we're having problems. <laughs> okay, I, I'll give you this to Discord. The Discord quality call is much better than Skype. But the problem is, it's not stable in terms of getting a call out there. Like, me and Terra or me and Star here, if I were just to get a normal call with them, somehow we'll be connected to the European server. Especially for me and Star, since we're in Southeast Asia, the most logical server to put us in would be the Singapore server. But no, they ship us to Europe. Why? <laughs> well, that is... Only occur when in private conversation, but in the case yeah, of having, um, what do you call it, if we are do- chatting in the channel or something, that it will be fine because we no, can because assign you... the server. Settings. Yeah, that, that, that's true, but if you think about it, if you really, really think about it, like, why would the call connect us to Europe if we're doing a private call? Like, that makes no sense. Well, that's one thing. Another thing to consider is if both me and Norman is chatting, in the sense that if we are doing a private conversation, and then but the thing is that we are in Southeast Asia, yet they connect us all the way to Europe. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If it were me and Terra, like okay, Terra is in Canada, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so if it were me and Terra, he's in Canada. Okay, the most uh, it won't be logical, but it I I can understand. All right, since I'm in Asia, he's in Canada, so I guess the closest one would be in the Europe's. But technically, North America will be closer to us. But uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. That's how it works. But for Southeast Asia, what the hell? I have no idea. Discord is being a weird poopy pants. Mm-hmm. But rant over about Discord. When it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But anywho, um, let's get into the news. So in today's news, we got cars. You like cars, right? Like, they're the thing that we... Right in to get from point A to point B. It has four wheels and um, it goes room. Well, to be honest, as long as it can run, it's it's okay to me. Yeah, as long as, long as it brings you to places, it's fine with me. Yep, yep, yep. But you know what could be better? What? What? Ponies! Ooh. Everything's better with ponies. And, and how would that be? Well, it seems that... Auto Traders recently posted or is putting up a car for sale. It is the, I'm not sure which company it is, but it's the smart car. You know, the S-A-M-R-T, that small one, two doors, very compact car. So it's posted some things up there and they have ponies on it. And it seems that it's the picture of the 
season seven episode three that I I don't remember the title first of all uh, with, with the song and whatnot. Remember mm. the episode? I don't remember like the name of the episode, but I know it was when Twilight uh, copied many of her books, and then all the other ponies got crazy, and pretty much it was like the fandom, and then they started singing the song. No wait, really? I thought this one was no, season wait. Tr- uh, like it, episode three, like yeah, the song yeah. where the yeah. wrong episode. No, I remember now. It's the episode where they're going through that um, escape room. room escape. And they start yeah, singing yeah, yeah. The song. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. everything all mixed up. Me. Yeah, but still, um, it has a picture of that or a detail of that on the car and stuff. And you know what? I like this smart car because it's compact, it's nice, it's two doors, and it's easy to park at the city. So you got, well, space to park. But the thing is, um, let's see, I, I'm looking at the price here and it's under 10k. So I have did a bit of conversion. It's about twelve point five k Canadian dollars, or thirteen point five Singapore uh, thousand Singapore dollar, or forty one thousand for uh, Malaysian ringgit. Okay, I mean it's not that bad, right? I mean, um, you can get what, what the 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 average price of that you can get a four door car, but it ain't no real print car. That's it. But uh, you do have to remember one thing about smart cars is that mm-hmm. well, it's very easy to park around all this thing because it's very small and uh, very cute, as they call it. Mm-hmm. Storage won't be a fun thing. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Aren't all the smart cars electric? Uh I'm not hundred percent sure. Are they? Because well, in this I... case, it's an electric engine. Ah, yes, this one would be... Okay, see, you're saving on gas there, so that's good, that's good. And I'm terrible with cars. <laughs> well, what do I know? What What do I know? But the thing is, like, when you take a look-see in depth with the um, seller comments, it's very copy-paste. The only attraction that people would want this car for is just the pony stickers. And in all honesty, you can do it yourself with your own current car, so, yeah. Yeah, owning this would be fun, because... It- it will be a very eye, a lot of eye candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Like, I drive a local meat car, which actually borrows a design copy of a Japanese car. But you know what? That's beside the point. I, I, I have a photo car, and I have trouble maintaining that. I would love to put a decal on it. Pony decal, like something like Sunset Shimmer or something like that. That will be fun. Or if you want to make it easier, rather than spoiling the car, you can just put plushies at the back of the car. That's true. But then you won't get to see behind. Like, you're supposed to look at the rear view mirror. Yeah. And, That's oh, yeah. true. But if you know a way to put it, you can just put it behind the, what you call it, the passengers, uh, the back seats, the headrest. Behind there, you can just put a small plush there. And it won't be any troublesome. Probably, but I, I don't know. I mean, I, I personally don't like to put anything at the back there for safety reasons. But that's just me. And... This car here is interesting. Like it's under 10k. It only has 8,800 miles on it, and well, I guess you can buy it if you want to. I don't know well, why. You remember, would. it's under 10k for wherever it is, because you know us Canadians, we have to pay it even more. Yeah, but like for that money, you could get a nicer car with four doors. So yeah, <laughs> well, I, I'm still griping on the four doors thing. Like, come on, like having a three door car thing here is not that bad but come on like if you need to carry another person in like if you're going to a party yeah that third guy's gotta have to be on the roof yeah just strap him down like you just hunted him down <laughs> oh man just talking about deers tie and that guy you, you need to put a belt on him if he needs to ride on top of the roof <laughs> exactly but I'm gonna need Ty though for Christmas he's my reindeer <laughs> oh yeah 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 uh, talking about belts and whatnot, um, it seems that there's a website that sells all this good stuff. And I think the website is called Buckle Down Store, was it? Yes. Yes, Buckle Down. So, Buckle Down, this store has ponies in it. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Mm-hmm. By looking at this, these are some of the belts or whatever products that they sold at Hot Topic before. You guys remember? Mm, I don't remember. Nope, not really. I guess it's been a while then because I kind of remember it, but uh, it seems that, well, uh, Buckle Down 
has some pony belts and business card holder things. So if you are into the business card gathering or giving, this would be something good for you to put in those cards thingy stuff. And if you want some pony belts, they have the uh, muffin pony, the what you call this main six cutie marks, and so on. And if you have a doggy, you could always put a doggy collar with ponies in it. So yay, that's something for you to look at. Mm-hmm. Too bad they don't have cat collars because my cat is named Luna, and if they had a Luna collar, I put that on her. Let me see if they do have or not. Like they have eleven pages worth of content here. And I'm guessing that oh wait, okay, they have a Luna belt, so okay, that's something good. Uh let's see if they have a Luna cat collar. I don't or care. another thing you could do is just go on Google and just type in Luna cat collar and you may find a cat collar that is Luna. That's true. Then again, do remember that um there's also a certain character also named Luna also in uh, anime. Oh well, yeah, the cat. Uh-huh. Well, in yeah. my defense, I named my cat Luna before I got into the show, and I didn't even know there was a Princess Luna at the time. I, there you go. Did you did you name your cat based on Sailor Moon? Uh, no, actually, I just huh? decided Luna because it was a pretty name at the time. Oh, all right. Did I mean? Uh, okay. I'll buy it for a dollar. And talking about dollars, you they have wallets. Like, they have 40 wallets here. Huh, that's cool. You can put your dollar inside those wallets. Yay. Uh, I'm just looking through everything here, and wow, they have a lot of stuff. I should have gone through this earlier. Well, they are nice, awesome, and whatnot. But, well, even one thing is even nicer. Do they even ship internationally? Yes, that's true. If it's a no, then, well, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, true, but for us, but at least for Terra here, there might be a chance that they ship it to Canada. But you know what? It's there if you want to check it out. Like, I haven't really delved in deep to see where they ship um, to Southeast Asia or not. But they have a lot of cool things, like keychains and, let's see. Uh, oh, they have like, dog leashes. Oh, uh, yeah, see? You can use it for your cat too, I think. And they, they have uh, guitar straps for any guitar players out there. Yeah, I, I'm sure we have some musicians listening to the dog. Who am I joking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad. Uh, but you want to know what could make me happy? What? And apparently it do ship internationally. So yay. <gasps> yay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that can make me happy a bit. Okay, <laughs> but now, um, no, another thing that could make me happy is a vacation at the beach. Like, right now would be a really good time to have a vacation at the beach. Isn't that right, Tara? Yes, because the cold weather is upon <laughs> here. It's freezing. <laughs> Already feels like winter over here. Oh, really? Oh, oh. Well, I, I, I guess it's a bad time then. <laughs> yes, uh, but no, is. um, talk, talking about the beach and whatnot, um, the My Little Pony Equestria Girl Minis, they're having a new series out, and those series are, well, it's the beach series. You have them girls in the, well, quote-unquote swimsuits. Um, if you take a look-see, you got Fluttershy, Trixie, AJ, Pinky, Sunset, and also, what you call this, Twilight or Sci-Twi. And also, uh, there's a Rainbow Dash version of the toy, but she comes with a jet ski thingy. So, yeah, that's fun, right? Um- Something tells me that they market this for the Aussies. <laughs> uh, really? Because, oh. because at this moment, it's summer for them. True, but we need to see when the toy comes out. Um, I'm thinking it comes out January, probably? I don't know. Maybe. But this is something I don't mind buying, because, like, hey, if I can collect all the sets, that'll be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be nice. But, Tara, uh, are you into the Equestria Girl Mini toy line? I didn't even know about this mini thing, actually. Really, no. Yeah, that's why I, was, I saw this. And I'm like, wait, what? This is a thing? Well, kind of, yes. Because, um, okay, you know, I know there's the blind bags. There's also the brushables and whatnot. But, yeah, those are nice. But I don't really want to brush the hair. And I'm into the model figures, like the Japanese anime weeboo stuff that they have. AKA so Nendroids. I... Yes. Yeah, but they don't have any ponies of it, so very could I get one? And it seems that Hasbro has listened to my call for a while. And yeah, this seems good. I, I don't mind buying this. 
And it's just me. I I don't know about you guys. Well, talking well, about mean... the fact that yeah, talking about the nan the uh, nandroid figures. Uh, so far, from what I hear, there is no nandroids release other than uh, this MLP cafe in Japan. Uh, Tara, what you were saying? I was gonna say there's a missed opportunity pun here. I mean, you know, since this is about a beach and you got Sunset Shimmer, I mean, you might as well call her Sunset Swimmer, right? <laughs> Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh, that bun! That bun! Oh. You, 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 Wills and Silver can have a pun off, please do. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I mean, it's just a missed opportunity. I had to say it. Okay, you're welcome to say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, talking. Uh, I, I, there's no. Okay, you know what? I, I, I'll try and link this as hard as I can because we were talking about. Figures or dolls or toys, whatever it is, and you want to know who's Hasbro's competitor in the toy marketplace? Take and a guess. Who would take that a guess. Be? Uh, let's see. Hasbro against who? There's just too many toy market. Which one are you talking about? Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> toy markets out there. Mattel. Oh. So um, Hasbro is considering. Uh, Mattel takeover. Dun dun dun. Yes. Oh no. Wow. So I think I reported on this one before and it seems that the EQD notes tells me that yes, um, it was reported way back in February where they tried to do that before but Mattel declined. So now Hedros trying again and it seems that it might succeed. So the chances of Hasbro having no competitor is there. So that's not fair. That's just monopolizing the market, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, okay. Here's the thing. Um, I don't mind if they do buy, but they do what Blizzard and Activision do, which is Blizzard does their own thing, Activision does their own thing. Yeah, that'll be cool. But you know, toy market, nah. They they want to they want to micromanage everything, and with that. Uh, Hasbro's line of Equestria Girl dolls will have the same good quality as Mattel's Barbie line. And, well, they'll have the Monster High thing and so on. I mean, it seems logical to do so, but I don't know. In terms of the consumer, we won't get any competition and quality will drop somehow. What do you guys think? I mean, to me, Maytel has been a very good uh, company. I mean, I remember some of the stuff they did back in my childhood, and I think I still have some around here somewhere. But, um, yeah, maybe Hasbro can improve it, or maybe it'll go downhill. I mean, who knows, right? We don't know what's going to happen in the future. Oh, true that. I mean, the, the most important part about business is the competition, like... The main thing is, if you have two rival companies doing the same quote-unquote things, they'll fight to the end to make their product much better than the um, competition and give good pricing. Um, that's been always the term of marketing. But if one company couldn't well keep up, the most logical thing for them to do is to buy out the other company, making sure that they won't be a problem anymore. It makes sense, but I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, no, well, only way to find out, right? Yeah, but I don't know. This all depends on uh, Hasbro and Mattel and see how they do. Because uh, for you guys at home who got no idea what Mattel does, uh, they do Barbie, Hot Wheels, and uh, what else? Board do games. They do? Board games. Yeah, board games. No, not much, right? Like, what what do they do in terms of board games? What games if I'm not mistaken is it wait um did they who know I think so. I couldn't remember what wait let me just Google it up oh, yep <laughs> right, checking with destroy the show what <laughs> while you Google that um yeah first, it's Uno uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they did Uno huh. yeah they did Uno oh, oh okay so, but anywho um having competition is good and yeah Hasbro does a lot of Things like they did the ponies, uh, Hanazuki, Little's Pet Shop, uh, Baby's Baby Alive, I think one of those calls. Yep. And Baby they Alive. also do the Transformers and so on. Also Nerf, they do Nerf for the boys. 
but yeah, um, Hasbro has a lot of products behind them. I, I'm not too fluent in what Mattel does with their toy line, so I, I, I don't really know what to say. But still, I, I'm actually a bit fluent with the, the company. <laughs> okay, well, what, what do they do, man? Like, come on, like, uh, tell us. Well, they are actually specialized in mostly doing, I mean, obviously it's kids stuff, but they actually did some, uh, they absorbed a few of the, what do you call it, the, the plush company and the toy, uh, doll companies, like, they did absorb the Pleasant Company, which did the American Girls series, that is like the, a bit like the, what do you call it, the Reborn doll series kind of thing, and I actually own, like, as for plush wise, they had, like, the Fisher Price, well, that oh, was for, yeah Fisher Price, and there's also the Taiko Toys. Taiko Toys was used to be the licensee for the distributing the Barney's uh plush series back in the 1992 something like that. All right, that was a very long time ago. And also not to mention the fact that I actually own a few Mattel plush because they did some of the big um well 30 inch. 30 inch, um, we in the pool, 100 acre woods, uh, plush. Like, uh, rabbit, kanga, pig, piglet, I think Eeyore? Also? Yep. Alright, alright. Well, at least, there's, they, they did that. Now, if Hasbro were to buy, yeah. Oh, and uh, one more thing I forgot to mention, Hot Wheels. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned too, that too, I didn't mention that too. But, like I said, if Hasbro were to buy them over, uh, the toy market will be really, really boring because just one company is taking over everything. But anywho, that's the news for this week. Um, hate to end it on a dry note, but you know what? Well, actually, I do have one more uh, news. Actually, they just recently oh. released, and uh, I think Norman kind of forget to read it up, and because I just posted it up like uh before the sh- show. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I know what you mean, but if you if you think it's viable, go ahead, man. Yeah, it's the well. It's since we are in the season, uh, festival of uh, in the holiday festival mood and all this kind of shenanigans. Target has done another holiday commercial and um, starring with our good friend Pinkie Pie. <laughs> yeah, and they did this a while back too in um, with, yeah, last the, year. Not last year. They actually did it uh, again. This is the second commercial. Yeah, first I know, but no, uh, actually, last year. Yeah, last year was the Christmas one, but this is like they actually has two commercial target commercial. One was where Pinkie Pie and Songbird Serenade was in it, and then this is the second one where we have a bit of a big Pinkie Pie. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like uh, those commercials for targets, they did it before with the uh, Red King Bat. Rap Battle thing, yep. it was way back when, and this one, I, I didn't really watch it because it's kind of, yeah, it's Target's doing a commercial about selling toys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a hard sell, if you know what I mean, <laughs> in terms of the news and like, talking about it. Like, yeah, they, they look good. Yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much yeah. all we can say until it uh, actually happens, and then we find out, you monsters, you changed everything. I know. Oh, you monsters. But still, uh, it's something interesting. Hmm? Actually, I was just going to say something too. I mean, if you think about it, if you mix Hasbro and Maytel together, it becomes Hazmat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, I mean, this could end badly, but, you know, we may never know. Oh, yeah. Oh, you could get my bro. <laughs> Oh, but then it will sound like that secret company, so no. <laughs> oh, crap. But anywho, uh, like, I hate to end it on a sour note. But anywho, uh, let's go into my favorite topic of the week. What have we been doing with our week? So, Tara, you haven't been here for a while, so I'm guessing your weeks have been stacking up. So, what have you been doing with your week, man? Well, I went for three auditions. Uh, I believe four, I don't remember, but yeah, I saw a bunch of MLP auditions on the internet, so I thought, you know, might as well give it a try, and I recently hit 7,000 subscribers, that's good news. Ooh, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much all that happened. Really, that's all? Well, I mean, there's a huge cap, like, have you seen the movie? Oh, I, I actually, yeah, see, it's been so long, I've been on the show, I almost forgot about the movie. <laughs> Yeah, how how do you like it, man? No spoilers, by the way. It, it was it was pretty good. I mean, it was all it was kind of predictable 
I mean, what do you expect from a kid's show? Uh-huh. And, I mean, most of the characters that got most of the spotlight were, like, Twilight, um, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie, and the rest became, like, kind of background characters. <laughs> yeah, and then E.G. can say, now you know how I feel. Exactly. <laughs> but what do you think about the new newly added characters? Who was your favorite? Because I know EQD mentioned that they love uh, Tempest. Yeah, I like Tempest. I mean, <laughs> but, but let me finish now. I'm not right. joining on the Tempest side. I mean, I like right. Tempest, but like her backstory, it's like, you know, it is dark how mm-hmm. she lost her horn and everything. But I'm also glad how they didn't, you know give her a happy ending because i thought you know she's it's a predictable ending she's gonna get her horn back but she didn't but one character i pretty much liked is capper oh really now yeah because like he has no s- magic no special powers or anything but he uses his sly skills to get through tight situations so uh, basically yeah. like the frame from brothers then <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, the sly cooper <laughs> oh man oh yeah Okay, I, I I have to join you there, but honestly, I I, I like Tempest. <laughs> well, remember, her name's not Tempest. I know, it's but uh, censored. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. It's radio okay, okay, edit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Uh, so that, that's about it. Like you, that's about it for you, quote unquote your week. Yep. All right, all right. So Star, what about you, man? My week has been a bit, you uh, well, it's been like here and there. Overall, nothing much has been changed. Other than the fact that suddenly I have a bit of a, what you call it, kind of a looking around tech tech stuff and feel like want to upgrade and all this kind of shenanigans. I mean, recently I was looking up until what they call it the. Should I just say this? <laughs> what like? I, I'm looking through the new headphone amp and that combo. It's called oh. the sh- yeah. It's called the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, <laughs> the that shit company. Audio. Yeah, yeah, that, that company. Yeah. It's it's not uh, that poop. It's actually they call it the S C H I I T. It's the shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, you know, we'll, we'll call it the super hydraulic instant transporter. <laughs> <laughs> that too, but still, uh, yeah, yeah. The company name is uh, shits. <laughs> it's uh, it's the shits. Yeah, oh, God. but still, no, it's true. I, I, I'm not even. Uh, I'm not. I'm not kidding. It's it is called yeah. shit. But what what and, makes that company special was the fact that they released some budget, uh, deck M combo, and it's actually quite nice. They actually, from what I hear, they're actually comparable to some around like maybe two hundred bucks kind of deal. Mm. And they are pretty cheap, and everything is made in the US of A. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yes. Though if you read the website, it's a bit funny because you can actually see some weird um, <laughs> references here and there. Yeah. They, they, uh, uh, God. Okay. Uh, it's fun if you. Do you want to get a new uh, deck and amp combo? You can get it there. We're not sponsored by them. But it's one of those things where it's too expensive for my blood. Yeah, it is expensive for my blood also. But overall, in the long run, it does look fancy. <coughs> oh, I won't even be able to take that word seriously now. <laughs> it's like someone could be like, oh, you're a shit. I'd be like, no, I don't own that company. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Some oh, boy. Shit. <laughs> oh god no uh, but anywho <laughs> would you aside oh god uh, me and my week how do I put this it's been a pretty interesting one Um, let's see uh, recently went to the store to buy some model kit robot a uh, Gundam if you want to say and uh, yes, I, just, I, I saw you yeah. posted that on Facebook I was like huh you know yeah. my the funny thing is that my friend is also into Gundam yeah, I bought it and I'm just waiting for it. Like, hmm, when do I have the time to build this? Uh, when I, have, I mean, I'm just gonna put it aside and just look at it first before I start building it because I know if I build it now, I won't have the time. So I'm just gonna find a good uh, dry date for me where I don't have anything to do and I can build this one. Other than that, um, I've been watching a uh, full LP of Sonic Forces. And that's pretty entertaining. Oh yeah, I forgot that and game came out. 
Yeah, I, I'm thinking about buying it. Uh, the thing about Sonic Forces is that it's one of those scenarios where, okay, it's a Sonic game, it's one of the 3D Sonic games, so it's not gonna be good. And from what I saw of the playthrough, it took the guy three hours to finish it. Actually, there's also another good game that just recently released also. What, Sonic Mania? Nope. It's called Dot Hack. Ah, uh, God, no. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, like the game? Uh, no, I played the first three and, uh, no, it, it got repetitive and I'm tired. Like, eh. Uh, actually, that, that game, right, the Dot Hack GU, is actually famous for makes, what makes Sora Online, actually, in the first place. Oh, God, no. But anywho. Uh, like with Sonic Forces, I might buy it because it seems like a fun game. But probably I'll buy it on the cheaps because, well, it's kind of short. Three hour game. Yeah, it'll, so it'll get we'll cheaper see. in the future probably. Yeah, true that, true that. But hearing and the story from the game though, like hearing the story about how Sonic and everyone's like uh, resistance and how Eggman took over, it reminds mm-hmm. me of the old Sonic show, Sonic Satam, where pretty oh, much yeah. like he, he takes over and there's a resistance on, and something about a princess. Yeah, Princess Sally Acorn, something like that. Yeah. Uh, well, it does have something similar to that, but still, uh, the game is fun. I, I might buy it one day. It's, uh, let's see, uh, Steam has it $10 more than the physical copy at my local game store, so I might get the PlayStation console version. Who knows? It's one of those things. But the thing that I kind of want to play around is the character create. <laughs> <laughs> I want to create uh, what you call this Silver Quill the Hedgehog. <laughs> to see how far I can push it. <laughs> but I thought Silver Quill was already a sea pony. Uh, no, he's a hippogriff. But you know what? There's a bird in the game. So you know what? I could do a Silver Quill the bird and see how how far I can push it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be oh, awesome. God. Yeah. Uh, anyone at home who did this, uh, post a picture online so we can see it. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have anything new to share besides, well, uh, plug, um, you, you know, a company called, um, what you call this? Pop sockets. Uh, they're this, mobile phone or mobile device thingy that you put at the back of your phone as a mobile stand and also grip. Yeah, I bought that recently. And they have ponies. They have Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie and Twilight available. That's nice. Yep. And it's about $13. So I recently bought bought that like i just bought rainbow dash and a uh, silver or a metallic uh, pure metal aluminium black thingy just for the fun of it so i can put it in my back of my phone so i can have a rainbow dash thingy at the back of it and uh well i got a code um if you use the code you'll get two dollars off your purchase mm-hmm. so instead of paying 13 you'll pay at least what 11 is it 30 or 15? I forgot. But still, it you'll get $2 off the purchase. So, yay, that's also good. So, if you'd like to buy one for yourself, um, go into the link below and use my code to buy it. So, yay, all wins. Well, the only thing that interests me that's coming out next week is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's out. Well, right now, they're doing the Ash... Pikachu distribution. Yeah, what, the movie ended? or the what? Not the what do you call it? The oh, the Pokemon. Yeah, the Pokemon. You know, I'm actually kind of upset. I I wanted to see that Pokemon movie Pikachu I Choose You or something like that, but I couldn't uh-huh. because I was too busy doing renovations in my basement. Oh god, no! Wait, it came out in theaters? Yeah, it was in theaters for the weekend uh, last weekend. Just one weekend? Yeah. Oh wow, that's kind of. Well, sucks. Like, I would have thought it would be much longer. Yeah, like, well, in, I don't know if it's still out in other areas, but in my area, uh, it said it was only out for the weekend. Aww. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can always wait for the DVD. That's true. Or Blu-ray, or Netflix, or iTunes, if you're that insane. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
but still, um, is there online soonish, soonish? Yeah, it will get there. But anyway, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. You can catch me at Norman Sanzo and Tara. Where can they find you? They can find me uh, in the wild, of course, because that's where Pokemon are. But they could also find me on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page or DeviantArt. They could always find me on there. Cool, cool. And where's that, man? On Facebook and DeviantArt. Uh, yeah, I mean, the name, like Torterra1334 oh. or... <laughs> yep, still the same name, Torterra1324. Alrighty then. Or 1324. So that... A lot of people say it differently. Oh, uh, true. Now but it's you, hard uh... to remember. Ah, true that. But anyway, I'll put it in the show notes. And Star, where can they find you? People will find me on my DeviantArt, AngelicorXX, or my Twitter, AngelicorXX. Alrighty then. And also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to our review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Songs, and Guest of the Week talking about the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and other topics that we kind of like to talk about. Video games or other, other topics that we kind of spur in our head. I think the most insane one I still enjoy is talking about Kung Pao and to the fist. Like, I can't stop talking about that one, man. Like, I want to do a second review. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <What the? laughs> uh, yes, there. And also, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get early access to the discussion and review podcast, and also deleted content, and also exclusives. And also, a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Larka Cat, Nemdrakotoria, Starstream, Master of Black, and also Amy. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You've been awesome. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Torterra1324. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the BS Show. See ya. You can never catch me. We'll see about that. <laughs> see ya. See <laughs> ya.